Hello, Amazon.com. It's me, Bo Shevasu, along with my daughter, Lucy. Today, we are demonstrating and reviewing for you our loyal materialistic minions, this little dash cam right here from Gecko. As you can see, the car is pulling out, and you can see on this tiny, tiny little screen, and that, I would say, is one of the most striking features of this dash cam, because I have recorded and video reviewed a lot of different dash cams, and this is the smallest, most compact width-wise. So if you have a, a, not a lot of real estate, like you're in a, a PT Cruiser or something like that, this would be a good dash cam option for you. As you can see, there's plenty of cable, and as you can see in my other dash cam right here, side by side, this is the Papago, by the way. They have a whole bunch of different models, but as you can see, the screen size is somewhat smaller than even the Papago, and this is a bestseller on Amazon, uh, which, which I do love tremendously, but, and uh, you can um, snake the wire all the way around there and make it work to your fancy. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and check out some of the menu options. If in fact it is locked for you, try holding down the OK or the menu button. Um, don't just try to randomly push a bunch of buttons or else you will get very, very frustrated. So I've already unlocked it and so this is the menu button right in the middle. You probably can't see this because it's kind of dark because of the backlight. But there's the menu button and then up and then down and that's how you uh, navigate around. Alright, let's go ahead and click on this and click. Oh, wait, 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 maybe it's locked again. There we go, let's push the OK. There we go. Now we can go down to resolution, loop recording. Basically, I'm recording every two minutes. That is, it starts another video file every two minutes. Uh, motion detection, I have turned off uh, simply because I don't want it to fill up my card with protected files every time it thinks it detects motion. Uh, audio date timestamp, which I think is extremely helpful. G sensor, I've also turned that off. Basically, it's always recording all the time, right when I turn on the ignition. And we can go through the rest of these, but you'd probably be incredibly bored. Uh, so we're not gonna do that right now. Instead, we're gonna show you what it looks like when it turns on. So we're gonna turn this off completely. And as you can see, the Papago turned off and then the Gecko turned off. Let's go ahead and three, two, one, turn it on. And the gecko starts up, as does the papago. Oh, it looks like the papago barely beat it. Well, eh, that's okay. We will we will just call it a draw for now. It was it was within seconds. And I have, in case you're wondering, the gecko is plugged in all the way down here. And very nice, very nice. That's what it looks like. Plug that back in. And it's gonna try to turn on again. I'm probably making it extremely confused. Uh, also, what I like about this dash cam, it's very easy to swivel around and film yourself. So let's say that you have an interaction with a police officer and you want to film the whole interaction, just reach up, swivel it around, and you've got the whole thing recorded. Uh, some dash cams don't swivel around that easily and it's rather difficult. So let's go ahead and put it back to normal, try to line it up with that car in front of us. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and put my camera down here, and we are going to have a side-by-side -side comparison as I walk outside. Here we go. Oh, don't lock it, please. Oh my goodness, you probably just heard me. My little toddler is learning to lock car doors. Don't worry, I do have keys, but that just scared me for a moment. Whew, okay, that is a spare set of keys. Obviously, my keys are also in my ignition right there. And that's why you do that when you have a little toddler. They're trying to kill you. But anyway, absolute five out of five stars product. I could definitely recommend this to somebody if in fact the price is right. Um, 
As far as resolution goes, there are higher resolutions out there now, uh, upwards of 2,000 to 3,000, even 4K dash cams for very good prices. So if you're looking for ultra high res, search around. They may not be that much more expensive, but for this, it's a great bang for your buck. There's my little demo, and I hope that this has been enjoyable. My name is Bo Shemesu, and I look forward to demonstrating and reviewing more fun things here on Amazon.com. Uh, I'm hot. You're hot? Okay. Oh, she's hot. <laughs>